in psychiatric hospitals we cannot distinguish the sane from the insane he made this claim based on his rosenhan experiment that shook the world of psychiatry to its core rosenhan and seven other people including three women visited five different psychiatric hospitals spread across five different states they pretended to be patients and reported hearing voices in their heads all eight pseudo patients were diagnosed to be having schizophrenia and they were admitted to the hospitals once admitted they stopped pretending to hear voices and they behaved normally they noted down their observations and experiences in journals after the experiment when their medical notes were checked it was found that the hospital staff had made the following observation patient engages in writing behavior everything the pseudo patient said or did was interpreted as typical of a schizophrenic patient nurses assumed that signs of boredom were signs of anxiety the environment did not expect them to display normal behavior a week a month two months that's how long the pseudo patient stayed ranging from 7 days to 52 days during which they told the hospital staff that they felt better and did not hear voices anymore the experimenters were still given antipsychotic medications which of course they flushed down the toilet here's what actual patients had to say to these pseudo patients you're not crazy you are a journalist checking up on the hospital The experiment doesn't end here there is a second part to it a research and teaching hospital came to know of the study and claimed that similar errors could not be made at their institution Rosenan called and informed them that during the subsequent 3 months one or more pseudo patients would try to get admitted to their hospital see if you can spot them of the 193 admissions over the next 3 months 41 were suspected by at least one hospital staff member 23 were held suspect by at least one practicing psychiatrist and here is the shocker rosenan did not send anyone all the patients suspected as imposters by the hospital staff were actually patients this study created an explosion of controversy skeptics had a valid point if you went to the doctor falsely complaining of stomach pain and the doctor admitted you to the hospital you couldn't blame the doctor for a faulty diagnosis but that doesn't explain why these pseudo patients were kept in the hospitals for so long question to the viewers if you were dehumanized by being referred to with a serial number instead of your name given a hospital uniform your freedom curtailed and forced to live with mentally in patients where insanity was expected from you how long could you guard your sanity